In today's mobility training tip, we are attacking and conquering low back pain and it's kind of cousin, it's close affiliate that go hand in hand, hip pain. Okay, so hip dysfunction, low back dysfunction, very much intertwined. One causes the other, the other causes the other. And it's this weird feedback cycle that kind of creates dysfunction on top of dysfunction. So today we're going to kind of attack this more from the angle of uh, creating space in the hip with a banded distraction exercise, then doing a spinal extension exercise, and then finally doing a more active movement, the QL walk. So we will get into it. So you can take like a rogue fitness band. I personally use this old heavy jump, uh, weighted jump rope. It works great for me. You put your foot through it, you fold it over once, you go here and then you scoop away. Okay, and then when you're here, I like to spend at least a minute to two minutes, especially more on your uh, more effective hip. So my low back issue really originates on the right side of my body and I get a very compressed hip on my right side. And you'll notice if you have low back issues that you might have one hip that gets more compressed and jammed in the socket, okay? And if you do any type of movement with it, it might have that kind of rice crispy sound. And so when you're here, your idea is to create internal rotation of the joint. The band is pulling your leg, creating space in your ankle, knee, and hip joints, okay? Don't want to just be out here, internally rotate, press your heel out, bring your toes towards your shin. And over time, scoot away. And just let that hip drop and sink. And again, one to two minutes, especially two minutes on your bad side, maybe a minute on your side that is not as bad. And when you're here, you know, I'm here speaking to you, so I'm not probably getting as much of the juicy benefits. But when you're here, think about breathing through that lower belly. The more parasympathetic tone, more diaphragm, more belly breathing that you can get, the more physiological change that you will have. You can even add in cross. And again, this foot, don't just let it point. Keep bringing the toes to the shin and just let all that lengthen out. So we do that for two minutes on your bad side, one minute on your good side. Hey guys, if you're taking great value from this video and you want help creating a pain and performance plan, First, like and subscribe to my channel so you can get more updates and turn on that notification button. But also, schedule a free 10 minute call with me in the description. I can help you develop a pain performance plan so you can conquer in your training and reach your goals. Now back to the video. Now then, we created space in our hips, okay? So now let's cue a little spinal extension, the classic Kevin McKenzie protocol using this extension here. Let's breathe into our lower belly. Don't let your shoulders get up near your ears, keep them down and away. And just let those lumbar vertebrae just sink into the ground. Don't think about engaging your butt or anything special. Just breathe here. And just have a relaxed breath. Maybe a three second inhale, five second exhale, then maybe a five second pause at the bottom. The less breathing, means more oxygen uptake, means more parasympathetic tone. And if your respiratory rate is very high, you're causing yourself to be more sympathetic, more stressed. So I would spend a minute to two minutes here. And then we're going to move to the QL walk. So you do 10 forward, 10 back, so I'm going backwards here. And then you go forward. Nice little kind of cross-body movement. We're kind of ungluing tightness, and you're creating more symmetry to the body. More symmetry, less ones have a dysfunction, less compensation, more quality function. Okay? I like to go one to two minutes, again, on the band, especially two minutes on your bad side, then one to two minutes on the spinal extension, and then 30 reps forward, 30 reps back, in the increments of 10 for the QL walk. If you want to double up on that, you could do two sets, you could do three sets. But there's a nice lower back slash hip protocol you can do to ease your pain so you can conquer your performance goals in life, in training, whatever you want it to be. So guys, again, all the links in the description below. You know, free 10 minute call if you want help with a pain and performance plan. Like, comment, subscribe, other videos on the playlist. Go check it out. Have a good day. And send me your questions if you have any, okay? Stay mobile, friends. Peace.